What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a look at a title we covered about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, called Space Wreck. Back then it was just a little teensy tiny demo coming from Latvia. But this is a game that actually I'm very, very interested in. For those of you that don't know, I'm a big fan of like old school RPGs. Uh, things like Atom RPG, things like Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Under Rail. Uh, very hardcore games where choice matters and you have to live with those choices, where your stats matter and your character just can't do certain things for the entire game, which encourages more playthroughs. And Space Wreck is definitely a game that is modeled after exactly that sort of blueprint right there. This is not going to be an RPG that I think is for everybody. This is a game that does have combat, but it very proudly says that every single combat in this game is avoidable. You can do a totally peaceful pacifist playthrough if you want and resolve everything with conversation and skill checks and workarounds and things of that nature. I've played the game for about an hour, and actually I think that may be true. I made a combat character, so I just brute forced and blasted my way through everything. But you don't actually have to do that. If you have other skills, you can coerce, and you can convince, and you can reprogram, and you can do thievery, and you can do sneaky moves to get around all the combat. And so I think that that's a, an idea that's very, very compelling. So we're going to dive on in. We're going to take a look at Space Wreck here today, and hopefully it ends up being something that you wanted to add to your wish list. If after watching this, you did want to check out Space Wreck, I've got a link for you down below in the description. And then on top of that, I also have a link for you down below to my Discord and my Twitch stream, where on the day that this video goes live, pretty strong chance, as long as everything works out with my YouTube work, uh, that I will be streaming the game in long form so that you can kind of see the first couple hours and figure out if it's for you. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and start the game. Oh, it only has one save slot, does it really? We'll verify once I get into the game, but I would like to see multiple save slots. Uh, that's one of those basic functionality things that I think every single game should have at least like three save slots. Let's go ahead and start a new game. In the 22nd century, humanity is spread across the solar system. Wild capitalization of the markets has sparked bloody clashes between corporations and asteroid miners, spiraling into anarchy. You are an inexperienced captain, fresh out of the academy on your first voyage. Being a complete outsider to the crew, they don't seem to have much respect for you or your command. To make matters worse, your ship is targeted by asteroid pirates, and the blast of a stray ion torpedo damages the fuel controller chip. Somehow the ship manages to limp away to a nearby space wreck in hopes of finding a replacement. But someone has to go get it. The crew proposes a lottery to determine who will. Despite your status as the captain, you feel compelled to participate. Everyone draws the straws but you get the short one. You manage to cover only half a distance when your shuttle unexpectedly runs out of fuel. Luckily, there is an abandoned space station nearby. You land, hoping to replenish the fuel tanks of the stranded shuttlecraft. Air hisses as the hatch opens. Stepping outside on broken tiles of the derelict station, you have no idea what to expect. But one thing is clear. There is no way forward without fuel. Down and away we go. Welcome to the game proper. This is Space Wreck. Uh, Captain, wake up. You've arrived. I landed. Uh, the shuttle tanks are completely empty. You gotta find fuel here. Fuel, got it. Let me get ready. Uh, so we can create our character. And as you can see, I am a character. Yay! And I'm a gun enthusiast. Uh, so basically, you can be an online video celebrity. These are all presets. Or you can make a character from scratch. And it's got the pretty typical, I guess, character creation that you would expect from something like Fallout. You know, you can pick your sex. You can pick your stats. These stats do matter. As I said, this is a game where the skills that you choose, they are highly consequential. If you become like a computer hacker, you are going to play most of the game solving problems by hacking computers because you're going to suck at combat. You're going to suck at charming people. If you choose to be a face, which is basically a talker, you're going to have to solve most of your problems by charming people, uh, conniving and lying to people and figuring things out vocally. 
Uh, it's really up to you, but since I am a character here, oh yes, it's time for me to play the game. Apparently, Sam Platoon, or Splat for his friends, is a typical American jock in school, good at sports and wealthy, one of the popular kids. Man, life is working out for me in digital form. All right, while he wanted to become a crypto investor, oh, don't do that, that's a mistake, his father, a retired general, made him join Space Academy. Okay, yeah, let's play this guy. It does give you the option to modify this character any way that you see fit. Uh, if you don't want to have speech skills and you want to change this around and go for like a range skill or you want to go for like a science tech skill or whatever else, you can use this as a baseline template. But we'll leave it how it is for right now. I'll be charismatic and toting a gun. When diplomacy fails, you better believe this buck buck won't. All right, I accept. Subject fit for the position of captain. All right. Uh, no computer skills. You can't even boot up a computer without crashing it. Sucks. Feels bad. Uh, but I do start out with a gun since I'm a combat character, so that's pretty cool. I've got myself a space gat. If you want to walk around, works exactly the same as the old Fallout games. You just click where you want to go. There's a dead robot over here, and it says there are remains of a destroyed robot with the right tools and knowledge you could salvage something. Unfortunately, me too stupid at computers. Me no understand go dot. Me, me walk away now. Me understand gun. Gun make me happy. There's a dead guy over here. There's a pipe. There's a toilet pass. Yeah, I, I figure at some point I'm going to have to take a space dump. Sure. Screwdriver? I feel like a screwdriver is actually a really useful thing to have. The real question here is, uh, do we have a flathead? Or do we have... Ooh, I can fly over here. Can I... Yeah, leap off the edge. There you go. Uh, is it a flathead or is it a Phillips? That's the real question. There's a keypad over there, but given the fact that I'm terrible with computers, it's probably not going to go well for me. This is a keypad for entering a pin. Okay. This computer over here is part of a network but has no functionality on its own. Apparently, it's having technical difficulties. Uh, we can walk around. This game is freeform. You can do whatever you want in any order that you want. You can solve problems whatever way you find it pleasurable to solve those problems. But this space station is our home for now, at least until we get some fuel. I'll probably fly back over this way if I can. Cannot leap there. There's obstacles in the way. Okay. Well, I will fly there now. I believe I can fly. All right. So we made it on over here. Uh, I'm going to put my gat away because I know what happens when I go through this door and having a gun out when you walk through this door is a really bad idea. People tend to not like it when you walk around brandishing a weapon in this game. And into the station we go. Uh, there's a person here. Hello? Perception. Uh, you do skill checks on people with dice rolls based on your stats. Uh, I failed to read this person's personality. A boring older woman out of her comfort zone. She's obviously incapable of defending herself alone and needs constant protection. Uh, that's the exact opposite of what happens if you succeed that right there. You find out that this lady's like actually pretty badass. So one thing I like about this is if you fail a skill check, the game will actively lie to you. Especially if you like critically fail, you will completely and totally misread the situation. And uh, it has no, it made alternate text for all that stuff. And the game does seem to take into account, like, a lot of different things. Hello. Excuse me, but who are you? I'm the captain of a stranded passenger ship. Passenger ship as from Earth? Ooh la la, what are you doing here? Uh, I need a fuel chip. We got stranded when somebody hit us with an ion torpedo. Pirates. Makes sense. I don't know if you'll find one here. Uh, okay, but I also ran out of fuel. Well, in that case, you're kind of in the right place. There should be a ton of fuel here. Uh, but that's what we're here doing, too, and I'm not sure if Vilnus is ready to share with anybody who's Vilnus. Uh, he's not the captain, but everybody, including the captain, listens to him. He's kind of the leader for the group of people on the station. Where can I find him? On the promenade, right in the middle of the station. That's where the bar and the shop and the dance floor are. A dance floor? Well, it was a dance floor 20 years ago. Nobody dances anymore. Okay, does he have access to the fuel? Admittedly, no. Not yet, but it's only a matter of time till we do. Okay, so it's still up for grabs. I like your attitude, but if you get in the way, I'm going to shoot you. No hard feelings, all right? Uh, don't worry. Just don't do anything stupid, and I'm sure you'll get along with Vilnus perfectly fine. All right. Uh, can I charm you? Yay! I succeeded at being charming. Well, I'm Finn Allison, but people call me Finn Alley and sometimes Miss Finale. Okay, so her name is a pun. After the collapse, I decided that I'm not going to rot on a space wreck barely surviving. I wanted to go to Earth or die trying. So I jumped from station to station, wreck to wreck, always looking for a way to get closer to the goal. 
I take chances, and as a consequence, more often than not, I end up in tricky situations. Not unlike this one right here, where I got to wonder sometimes loudly, is this your finale? You talk to yourself in voice. What do you expect? I don't have anybody to talk to. When you're always on your own, things start to get weird. Uh, you know I could get you back to Earth. Hey! What do you mean? You only have a shuttle. Yeah, but it's from a bigger ship. Okay, you're not kidding. So let's assume it's true. You have a ship, but... It needs a fuel regulator. We were attacked and the engines got blown up by a torpedo. I see. Sepakota Sepakota did a number on you. You're scouring the wrecks for the part. Makes sense. Yeah, exactly. But with your knowledge of junk space, I bet we could find one. It's true. For example, I would not be looking for a fuel chip on this station. Uh, well, I need fuel, not fuel chips right now. Sheesh, man. Everything's going wrong. Did a black cat zigzag in front of you this morning? All right, here's the thing. I'm not feeling your pitch. You may have a ship nearby, and even though that could also be bullshit, let's assume that you have it, but not the engine part. You also have freaking Sepakota uh, hot on your tail, and trust me, they're not going to give up. And to top it off, you are literally stuck here without fuel for your shuttle. I would be okay to wing it with you. You would? Hold your horses. I'll join you if you get the fuel. If we can launch right away, I'd take the chance. It'd be easier if you helped. Kid, I'm not even 100% sure you're telling me the truth. Right now, my chances are better without stirring up trouble with the with the guys here. Don't want to burn potential bridges yet, but as I said, I will risk it if you have a functioning shuttle. All right, when I find a shuttle, I'll drop by. Warning! Do not approach. I'm going to approach you, robot. You don't tell me what to do. You don't, you don't tell me what to do, automaton. You better understand. I do what I want. I made a combat character, nerd. It's time to get down. I got 81% chance of hitting him from here. Do it. Yeah, take that. You like my laser pistol? Quick shot. Yeah, continue to get zapped. Oh, you're not even reloaded yet, bro. Ow! Okay, he shot me in the pelvis. Kind of hurt. It hurt a little bit. Are you dead yet? Can you be dead, please? Yay, he's dead. I am victorious in my first space combat. Uh, I can't do anything with the body, though, because, you know, I don't have any skills outside of, like, making caveman noises and firing my weapon. Now, this dead guy over here has a piece of pipe, has a hairpin, another screwdriver. I'll probably take the hairpin. Those are lockpicks in this game. They let you get through doors and stuff. Uh, inside this office, it looks like there is a med container with painkillers and OK Wellbutrin. I don't know what OK Wellbutrin is, but we'll, we'll take our chances. Uh, Spacesuit storage. We've got shelves over here and duct tape. I'll probably take the computer manual. Uh, items in this game do have uses. Having these things on you when you go through challenges and whatnot actually matters. So I'll give you an example. With the computer manual, I was interacting with a computer and I crashed it because I'm stupid. But it let me cancel out the crash and use the computer as though I had computer skills because I had the computer's manual inside my inventory. Like I said, this game is all about consequences and things mattering, and it seems like that's basically the way that it goes all the way through, which is really, really cool. And there's a welcome desk. I don't really care about that. What is that? There's like a stairs down. I want to know what that icon was over there. There we go. Oh, I can... Okay, I never realized that little button right there would let me draw and put away my weapon. You notice she draws on you if you have a gun out. I have the bathroom key, so I can get in here. And it looks like there was something that was dropped. Welcome terminal cat tube access key card. With no description. Sometimes it's not immediately apparent what an item does in this game. You just gotta kinda like figure it out later. Uh, let's move down to here and see what we've got going on. There's a container with nothing inside of it. I don't think that the loot is randomized in this game. I think it's the same every single time you play. This door, I can go through it. You can also crawl through vents if a door is locked, but your character is taller and bigger depending on how high your strength stat is. My character is too big to fit through vents, so my buffness has once again cost me everything. And there's an elevator right there. Maybe we look around a little bit more, though. There's another dead guy over here. What does the dead guy have? Uh, five bullets for our gun. I'll take that and a shock baton and a Krogus 3 security key card. I'll take it. Citizens, stay back. I'm definitely not trying to be all up in your business right now. 
Can I interact with this computer console? Because of your complete lack of computer skills, you push the wrong button and you crash the terminal so hard that it refuses to boot up again. Following a very simple set of instructions, you trigger safe mode. Oh no, dude, I wasted my manual on a non-networked computer that doesn't do anything. Hate my life. All right, well, let's keep wandering around the station for a minute and see if we find anything. Ah, electronic junk, cans. Ooh, a cartridge casing over here, though. I might be able to use that to manufacture my own... I might be able to use that to manufacture my own ammo at some point. A hot plate, chemicals, computer manual. Nice. There's another one to replace the one that I just lost. I'm gonna go around these guys. I'm I'm not approaching you, robots. Why are y'all so paranoid, man? Oh, there's another one over here too. All right, we might have to smoke this fool. Let's let's reload real quick, and then we'll smoke this fool. Break out the Draco. Ow! He shot me first. How dare you, sir? I am the main character. You're not allowed to shoot me first. Take 14 damage, nerd. Is he dead? Uh, he's definitely not dead. He's wounding me gratuitously. There we go. He's dead now. If he wasn't dead before, he's dead now. I'm going to put my gun away just in case there's people around here anywhere because I don't want to scare anybody. Walk around like a madman waving a firearm. Um, I'm not going to mess with that terminal for right now. Superintendent's office. Uh, examine. Hey, I succeeded. All right, the elevator does not seem to be meant for the general public. You feel confident there's only one key card, and it is with its owner. Judging by the sign, Superintendent Kai Neo. Okay, I could pick the lock, but since I've only got the one lock pick, I'm trying to be careful about the resources I expend to get around the station. We'll go back over this way and just kind of see what unfolds. Dropped items, a weird photo album. This looks expensive, but a weird photo album. For adventuring glories embossed with gold colors. There are cellophane sleeves with pockets. Now it's empty, but you can see from the worn out pockets that it was full at one point. Oh, it's a card sleeve for like Magic the Gathering. Okay, what do we have in here? Atomic batteries, a pry bar. Oh, it's in bad shape though. What does this do? Heavy power cells for tools. Okay. B521 valve. Hey, a bullet, though. There's a bullet inside of this thing over here. Ooh, five bullets. Nice, dude. Okay, I can definitely take bullets. Uh, let me reload my blicky real fast. A trash token? What's a trash token? Hexagonal piece of metal with a hole in the middle. Maybe it's just like a token that lets you access a trash can. They did say that this was like a dystopian corporate future. Uh, what can we do inside of here? So with SciTech, I can make a hairpin. It looks like I can make an E-pack. Okay. I need a wire, though. Okay. Cool. I'll keep that in mind. It looks like I can make the basics, even with my very, very minimal skills. So if I see any wires or anything around... I will do my best to get some more lockpicks. What's in here? Junk. Ooh. Oh, it's a cartridge casing. Okay. Electronic cartridge, though. There we go. We're getting some ammo now. How much ammo do I have? Uh, it looks like I've got eight extra bullets. That's nice. That's nice. Wrench, can, chemicals, junk. There's a vent right there, but I can't fit through it, huh? Yeah, I'm too big for the small service hatch. I bet it takes me into an office or something that you can't access from any other way. Or maybe some place that I gotta find a key for. And it, like, circumnavigates the fact that you need a key. Uh, what do we have in here? A Skywalk backdoor... Skywalk backdoor key card and some sleeping pills. Okay. Nomen. Menstruation suppressant birth control pill for women. I don't know how that would possibly be useful, but to me, it seems like one of those items that at some point someone's going to be like, I need a birth control pill, and then you're going to be like, where the hell is the birth control pill on this entire, on this, on this entire station, you know? Uh, apparently there is alcohol right there. I'll take it. Everybody loves alcohol. Sleeping pills. 
I'll take some more of them. Uh, the sleeping pills, in case you're wondering what those might be useful for, it's totally possible in this game to drug people's coffee and stuff like that to make them fall asleep and then rob them or to get past certain challenges. In case you were interested why I'm picking this stuff up. Oh, apparently it's not that rare of an item. Okay, so there's stay awake pills, sleeping pills, more birth control pills. I was actually looking for something that might heal me. Like, you know, like some some health pills. Or like an ibuprofen. Or something like that. Advil. And this looks like it loops back to where we were originally, right? Okay, sleeping pill. Ooh, another hairpin and another manual. Nice. I do like that they gave you the computer manuals to kind of, Who are you? Somebody. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. Don't shoot him. Hello, you're new. Where'd you come from? Uh, just a random scavenger. I thought that. Yeah, the station's pretty good for looting, considering, uh, granted, you're sneaky enough to stay off the radar and get good guns and armor. For some reason, the station's flooded with cam bots. I mean, be careful. We cleared out the promenade, but there's plenty of them left elsewhere. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Uh, what's that thing on the landing pad? That's one of our engine power conduits. This is old as the world itself and probably should have been replaced eons ago, but we don't get new stuff here, do we? I have to keep these things running with duct tape and hope. Can I help? Well, not unless you've got a Beat 521 valve laying around, but seriously, if you see something like that, come back by. Oh, I know where that is. I know where that is. I'm going to go get it. Hold on. Uh, it was in here. There it is. B521. I'll take the E-Packs, too, just in case I end up needing tools or anything. I'll grab that, and let's take it back to this guy. All right, Broham. Your name is Dumpus? That's a terrible name. Uh, I got that replacement valve you wanted. Oh, fantastic, dude. Say, I'll uh, give you 20 E-charges for this. Deal? All right, it's a deal. Sounds good, man. Oh, and we got XP, too. Nice, dude. He takes the part and starts immediately working on the component, not paying attention to anything else around. Sounds good. Can I go into this ship over here? Or is that a thing that's generally considered to be... Okay, it's got an electronic lock. All right, well, then let's go to the promenade and kind of see how that goes for us. I need to find a way in there. It looks like we can go in the back way over here instead of going past the robots. But then again, one of those dead guys might actually be that Kai whatever that we were looking for. Oh, yeah, it's bumping in here, man. There's people everywhere. Okay, I sense conversation in my future. There's a hatch right there. Can I just take whatever I want from this area? Or does this belong to people? I'm going to take a rough guess and say that it belongs to people. Oh, you evaded my bullet, dude? Ow, and you shot me back. You're not allowed to shoot me back. I'm the main character. You're supposed to shoot at me ineffectually like a stormtrooper. Uh, other people will jump in, by the way, if you're fighting cambots or whatever. Jeans and a turtleneck, red shirt, khaki pants. Oh, yeah, I'm inside. You can see what level the O2's at from this little meter right here, and you can take off your spacesuit if you want. Uh, let's see. Uniform, captain's uniform. What do we got in here? Black balsam, schnapps, chicken nuggies. Hell, yeah, dude, I love chicken nuggies. Uh, I don't know what omepratralazine is. Some kind of drug. Apparently, my character doesn't know what it is either. Okay, then I will take a painkiller. VR Sweet SW card. I guess I'll take that. All right, sounds good. There's schnapps in there. Dude, schnapps is amazing. What's an A6 booster pack do? This is a plastic package for game cards. There's a title for Adventure and Glory. Collect them all. Okay, so that's why I didn't pick up the... I thought it was garbage, dude. That's why I didn't pick up the card album from the from the other side, like the long box or whatever, because I thought it was just, like, random garbage laying around uh, for, for, like, spice and to, like, flavor in the world. The bar cash register. Oh, we've got to have a Q-bar card in order to get in there. Okay, sounds good. Uh, who are you? Perception? Hey, I succeed! An, obvi an obvious outsider of the group, this woman is definitely hiding something, and by the looks of it, she's been doing it for years. The secret is weighing on her. Besides that, there's something else, more acute and recent going on, occupying her mind and stressing her out even more. You feel like if you want to connect with her, you should not press, but instead listen. Okay. 
For some reason, she wants to distance herself from you. Okay. Uh, what's up? Uh, I have stuff to do later. Okay. I just thought I would wait in silence for them to open up. Who are you? Away from the door, and we'll have no problems. What? This guy's got a voice? What's so special about that door? There's a freaking treasure behind this door. Really? <laughs> no, you dumb dumb. This is access to the fuel bunker, which is still full of precious juice. That's way better than gold. How do you know? I was here before the collapse. This was also a refueling station we used from time to time. That this door is still locked is actually great news. It means nobody's been here. Do you need help? I need two pluses. Oh, I failed. You got it. No worries. I noticed you were asking Vilnus about the door. Yeah, I just wanted to ask about fuel. Sorry about that. Strangers often mean trouble, and it's better to not overshare information. Listen, I need to find fuel. I'm stuck here. Can you help? I'll tell you what. We have shared interest. I think I can persuade Vilnus to share a bit of our fuel if you help out. Okay, what do you want? Uh, she shows a key card. You see the name Kunik Ilchik and robotics written in Sharpie on it. Who's that? No, not him. I have no idea who he or she is, and frankly, it's not what's important. Robotics? Exactly. I think this is an access card to where the Cambots are controlled from. Uh, aren't Cambot controls localized? Like, there are these security consoles nearby every unit. Yeah, but there's also often a centralized Cambot management system to aggregate video footage and manage the network. Centralized settings, system updates, so on. So why is that important? Look around. Every single Cambot is hostile. They obviously attacked everyone without distinction. This is not how they're supposed to act, and whatever happened affected all of them at the same time because it's unlikely that every Cambot changed behavior independently and nobody noticed. Nah, it happened too sudden. Okay, so you want me to get inside the room with the key you found. I don't really care about why. I expect a button, a switch, something to flip the bots off again. I mean, I flipped the bots off four times this morning, but that's beside the point. Maybe I'm too naive, but if this change of behavior was so quick, it should also be quick to reverse it. Okay, so you want me to find the room, disable the cam bots. If you do it, I promise you'll get a fuel cell. I'll try. Added. Key to everything. That's... Alright, that's definitely, uh... That's self-explanatory. It's a key to everything. Customer, so, oh, there's a, you just, you guys, why do you guys just leave the dead guys floating? This is like your communal area. Like, this is where you all hang out, and you just leave the dead guys floating around, like some kind of decoration? Oh, boy. I regret coming down the space hole. Uh, he's got a uniform. What does this guy have? Jeans and turtleneck. What's this guy have? Krogus 3 dispatch access card. Okay, so how many keys do I have at this point? I have many, many keys. So we've got our key to our shuttle. We've got the toilet pass. We've got the terminal cat tube access key card. Skywalk back door key cards. I assume that these keys will be relevant when they're relevant. A Q tank? What the hell is a Q tank? Oh, dude, it's coming this way. I don't know if I want to fight that. What is it? A small and deceivingly cute armored drone with magnetic tracks. Oh! Run. <laughs> okay. Got shot in my face. Didn't feel too good. Made me feel bad about myself. Uh, we get 20 HP from the painkillers, I think. Yeah. wonder if food gives me HP, too. Either way, my health is super low, so I'm taking painkillers, and we've landed on the magic number. So that goes to the skywalk. Okay. That elevator, we don't actually know where that goes. Let's go look around. Let's get our bearings. So there's a maintenance hatch over here. Where does the maintenance hatch go to? Uh, a dead guy. 
is where it goes to. Lots of dead guys around here. Light engineering spacesuit. Comparatively lightweight, comfortable spacesuit for outer space engineers. It gives you some level of protection. What am I wearing? I have questions. Apparently, I've got a passenger spacesuit is what I have right now. Very light with basic protection for emergencies only. All right, well, I'll keep in mind that there's an engineering suit then. Maybe we can fix it or something if we find, like, the proper repair kits. There's a vent right there. That door is locked. Door is locked with an electronic lock. You need a key card to open it. I'll YOLO it. Why not? We failed to roll a one? Oh, my God. Try again. Oh, we still failed with a one, so we need to do better than a one. I've wasted all my lock picks. I don't think we're going that way. Yep, I've squandered my resources, dude. I swear to God, slipping through vents. It seems like maybe it's the most useful skill in the game. I'm just saying, maybe think about it a little bit before you choose to be a hulking, murderous berserker. Ooh, an orc card. Nice. I'll take that. I'm going to go pick up that album, too. I also went ahead and stored all my stuff on a shelf over there so that I'm not, like, hoofing it around with me all the time. Uh, we went down to the next layer a different way, so we'll try to take a look around here. So we've got a Q-Bar employee card. We needed that for the bar. Nice. Computer manual, black... Ooh, hairpin. Gimme. I'm no good. A screen slate that is loaded with pornography. Fantastic. A pocket knife, sleeping pills, painkillers... Another hairpin. I'm going to grab the painkillers, too, for healing. All right, we'll grab the painkillers over here because it seems like this place really wants to kill me. And I think that's about it. There's a door over here. I'm still trying to find a way onto this deck without getting bulldozed by, like, some mechanized monster tank. That one is also locked. Can I perception it? There's a hastily attached note on the bathroom door. It says two lines, don't cambot, open inside. If you listen carefully, you hear electronics behind the door. Okay. So I would guess we're probably not going in that way. And of course, there's a vent over here that I could crawl through. Were I tiny? Oh, it takes you out to this area. Gotcha. So that's just a bathroom right there? Man, I don't know if I want to try to pick that lock. I'm so bad at lock picking, though, that like... I think these cam bots got to go down here. I don't want to waste any more resources. I'm tired of walking around the entire station whenever I want to, like, do anything. Steady shot that fool. Yeah, get him. Steady shot him again. Light him up. I don't even know if I'm in combat right now. doesn't feel like I'm in combat. Go ahead and reload real quick. So, like, if I jump him first. It doesn't appear to activate combat if I shoot them first. Like, they just let me waste them. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it doesn't activate combat mode. When I don't know if that's a bug or what that might be. Huh. Anyways, we can search these bodies finally. What's in this body right here? Uh, security key card, five bullets. That's good. That replaces some of the bullets we used up. What does this guy have? A track suit. I, I figure I probably could have identified that just by looking at his floating lifeless body. Fair. Fair. Uh, I wanted to get back to this elevator down here because they said to start with the elevators for our investigation. So let's take an elevator. Where have you taken me, elevator? Like, in the greater scheme of things. Oh, I'm on the top floor right now. Okay, cool. I do like how this map is all, like, contiguous, and I don't think this is all there is to the game. Like, if I save my game real fast, as far as I can tell, if I go to the options menu over here, each of these is, like, a quest that's in the game right now, and as you complete the quests, it fills in the little star chart, and so I'm guessing this is a lot of quests right here if you go over all these little stars and whatnot, and so anyways, there's a solid chance that, like, there's going to be some girth here. However, the game is in early access, so keep that in mind like everything else nowadays. Womp womp, early access, so everything's not in there. However, if you are a fan of old school games like Arcanum and Fallout 1 and 2, 
and under rail and all of those types of titles to me this seems very much like a game you would want to have on your radar I can already feel myself getting sucked into it it's got kind of like an open world do whatever you want whenever you want kind of vibe to it where you basically work on your objectives in any way and in any order that you want to free of kind of like things bumping into you or like forcing you down a path I like that that to me is like really the spirit of old school RPGs is that if you go back to my childhood in the mid 90s to things like Quest for Glory and whatnot, like those games were huge and sprawling and they allowed you to make mistakes and they punished those mistakes and oftentimes mistakes would lead you to new content and whatnot. And so anyways, games like this don't come along very often in the vein of like Under Rail and you know, Adam RPG. Uh, they don't happen very frequently because, you know, the hardcore CRPG genre, I don't think, has like a, a a massive following. It just, it doesn't. That old school vibe of gameplay has kind of diminished. It still exists, but it's diminished a bit on the overall stage of gaming. And I, for one, am very, very happy to see someone taking inspiration from those old titles um, and just cutting the player loose with a consequence-filled, meaningful game where screwing up a skill check may change the course of a quest. You know, like, I, I like that. That, to me, is an attractive prospect. Some people don't like that, but for me, poof, that's the good stuff right there. Hey, I made it to a dead guy. Nice. What's this dead guy got? So I'm excited about this game. Uh, hopefully you guys will also be excited about this game. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but it does seem like a game that's got love and care and clear inspirations driven into it. Like, it's got a clear idea of what it wants to be, and it appears to be going after that without any hesitation or flinching, and I respect that. So anyways, this right here is Space Wreck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Until then... Thank you very much for the luxury of your time, and I will catch you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the Indie Skillet. Bye, folks.